Okay, uh, this is uh, John Garrett from hypertransitory.com, and this is the second half of uh, my part one of my character design in 3D uh, for True Tales of the Story and Order. If this is the first you're seeing of this, uh, go back in my channel and check out part one first. I had to break it up because of YouTube time limits. So um, we're going to get started here, and we're going to continue with the first part of making this image that you're seeing right here. So here we go. And then let's get this thing here. All right, um, let's go back to our scene. Now we got all this stuff loaded here and we can see it's in the scene. And if we look at the skirt, we see these handles here. Some objects have handles to help you position and like if we want to move the skirt around and you know flare it out or something. Uh, I think this particular one, it has an option for me to turn that off and I really don't want to see that. So I'm gonna go to my poses here and there should be a material for that valve the sentry and hide handles I'm gonna go ahead and hide that okay so those are gone now and those aren't in the way let's go back here all right so we're still not done because there's a couple of things I don't like I mean she's she's you know supposed to be a warrior and she's she's still too naked I don't I don't think any you know warrior would go out and be looking to uh, go out and fight in this kind of uh, you know get up without some protection on and uh, up here I can change my camera views I'm gonna let's go to the back view you know come on man you know that 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 uh, that's not gonna work out not for me I mean I, I noticed a lot of these 3d a lot of these 3d models especially on the dad side uh, they are very very suggestive uh, a lot of them are, you know the the women are in these crazy poses and crazy outfits that really probably make no sense but I think it's it's kind of providing a fantasy for people and and uh, but for me it's kind of like is there a reason for her to be wearing this I I don't think so I, I just uh, you know I just prefer to uh, get her a little bit more clothed like she might be for real gonna go in a battle so um, I'm gonna go to my uh, Daz Victoria 4 and she has a bodysuit I'm gonna load that bodysuit up eventually there we go you know sometimes it's funny some objects seem to just pop right in and other ones really take a while and you never really know what's going to happen how it was made I guess maybe depends on uh, you know if anyone took any shortcuts when they were modeling or whatever um, okay so now she's pretty much closed here um, now the only other thing you know I don't like I don't like these boots because how's she gonna fight in those you know if I go to the right view here um, you know someone took a lot of time to model this and I, I'm impressed by that but I just don't think that um, she's gonna be able to fight that well in these and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of those and what I can do I mean that's her actual foot. If I if I turn that off, her foot you know is gonna disappear. But I can go to the boot area, and you'll find yourself doing this a lot. You might have to turn off some items if they poke through. I mean I can see area there that uh, the bodysuit is poking through. I'm gonna turn off that foot, so that one is gone. And I'm gonna go to the left uh, foot here. So okay, so those are gone now. Those are gone. Let me get back to my perspective view. Now she has no boots on but I'm gonna go and get those furry uh, mucklucks I guess they're called never heard of that until I found them on site mucklucks v4 and Victoria 4 is our model so we're gonna choose these and double click those and get them in the scene here now here's something you may encounter uh, pose outside of limits uh, sometimes they, the objects don't exactly fit they, they may not it may not be possible for them to fit exactly uh, but depending on the scene and y your angle and whatever you may be able to get it to work anyway I normally tell it to turn off limits and uh, I don't have too much of a problem but uh, I, I've never run into one yet but uh, 
you know, you may, you know, choose to leave the limits on or whatever. So as we can see, this is another one where the uh, the mucklucks have turned up, not attached to the body right away, even though I had the body selected. What I'm going to do, go up here, select both of them. And uh, again, I'm going to close that one up, get down to my fit two, and fit those to Victoria. And now they pop right on. And that's what we want. So, all right, she's fully clothed. And I don't think I like this necklace here either. Uh, so I'm going to hide that. We can see it pops up over here. I'm going to turn that off. Actually, I might just go ahead and remove that. Doesn't even need to be in there. So that's that for now. Uh, and as I recall, um, as you may recall from the, the image I showed before uh, of her finish, she has some axes here. So I'm going to get those in the scene. So um, what we'll see here she has some poses already made up for her and let's go down here to the uh, oh she has poses in the hand section so Val the sentry that's her and okay let's see here axe hand I'm gonna pose the right hand and turn off the limits so now she's ready to receive an axe I'm gonna double click this again get the left hand she's ready to receive another axe but now we got to get those axes so let's go to our props scroll back down and now she has a listing here now if I just choose axe it's gonna just dump an axe in there for me now I want to go ahead and put these right in her hand all right so there's that one and here's the right hand axe okay so now she is you know armored up and she's she's got weapons and she's good to go but um, you know she still doesn't look anywhere near like what uh, what my picture looked like as we can see by going back here so obviously I did a whole lot in between here and let's get back here that has a lot to do with uh, the materials and the uh, the lighting method that I choose to use on this I don't quite do things the way other people do I kinda get a flat render out of it and then I choose to uh, do a lot of the work in Photoshop because um, that's kind of quicker for me to get the look that I want that way. Now, uh, when it comes to the posing, uh, I've already posed her, obviously, because I did the picture, and I saved those poses. So um, that, I mean, I'll probably just load those poses, but what I'll, what I'll show you here is the way to move the figure around. Now a lot of people use these the the uh, active pose tool. I don't choose to use this. I don't really like the way that it works. I mean, I can pull on this and you know, I kind of don't like the feel of it. And sometimes when I you know, I go and click on something like this and I want to, you know, move it down, then I start getting other, you know, action. You see other parts of her moving that really I probably didn't want to move in the first place. So uh, I don't choose to use that. I normally will just go by, you know, if I if I want her leg to move, I'll click on it and I'll move over to my parameters and make sure that I have my transforms visible and I can go ahead and, you know, move whatever I want around and get the pose the way that I want it, you know, one one piece at a time. Uh, sometimes you can you can actually buy poses. You you can uh, apply a whole pose like I can go she has some poses that that are kinda generic they're not necessarily like fighting poses if I go into general poses we can see that uh, if I double click on this one then uh, this is what she's gonna look like now I mean none of the poses that are in the general really helped me out that much I mean, maybe this one might might work out but as it's a kind of a stock pose then you might end up seeing that pose everywhere and you probably don't want to do that you know you probably want to just be more original with it and if you end up getting into a pose where oh god how do I get out of this you can always zero out that figure I can go over to my parameters and then over here I can choose zero and I can say you know zero figure and then she's back to normal as you might notice though her hands are now hands are now uh, 
you know, open when they shouldn't have been. But if you get in a situation where you need to do that, you can go ahead and undo everything and get them right back to zero. So I think that uh, this kind of showed how to how to get the figure in there and how to, you know, how to load up all the, uh, the objects onto your figure. And uh, this is this is really the first thing, obviously, that I'm going to do when I when I'm loading up a character. So I got this part done. And in the next parts that I do, I'm going to talk about how I change the colors and the materials to what I want. And also, um, you know, a little bit more posing. I'll show you how I load, load and save poses when necessary and how I change the materials um, using the saving the, uh, the surfaces and the materials. And finally, the, uh, the lighting methods that I use for, for rendering and for shadows and such. But I think this is kind of long for the first part, so uh, I'll leave it at this. And stay tuned for the second part, uh, which will be the uh, setting up the, the pose and the surfaces. All right, thanks for watching.